Hey guys, how you doing? So, I thought of something different to do. I thought I might show you a fly I use a lot. Um, it's real simple, but catches a heap of fish. So I thought I might show you how I tie it, and then go and try and catch a fish on it later this week. Um, and just kind of put a bit of a video together, and just, I don't know, it might be just something cool. Uh, okay, so... In here, this is this is a size 14 uh, grabber hook from uh, Chemizam. I really like these hooks because they're super strong, um, and I've had issues with hooks bending or breaking and losing fish in the past. So, but these these never let you down. So um, I've already crushed the barb down on this. So when I tie my own, I just crush the barb uh, in the vise before I start tying, and it's just done. Uh, and this is then a 2.7 mill tungsten bead um, just yeah, running your mill tungsten um, right so I'm going to bang some brown fly uh, thread on here um, I'll go ahead right now and say that uh, I'm not a very good fly tire um, I'm not very neat I'm pretty sure I'm not technical at all um, and my flies aren't pretty, but they seem to catch fish, so it's all that really matters. But I ain't winning any awards with them. So I'll just put that out there now. Right then, so, um, run down a base of thread, and then uh, next I'm just going to grab some, some copper wire, another flash. And I'm going to tie some of that in. And I'll just offer that up, and I know I should go and tie it in from the other end, but most of the time I really just can't be asked. And this does the job, so I wind that back down, tie that in nice and low, and then I'm going to tie in some of this dubbing. Um, it's actually called this. Fine and dry blueing olive, looks green to me, but I don't know. I really like this stuff. You don't need much, a little goes a long way, and once it's wet, it looks real good in the water. Um, so, yeah, just uh, dub some of that on, kick it in, and then just wind that back up. Kind of make somewhat of a tapered body ish and then just pull off what you don't need at the end of here yeah rough and ready so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wind this um, wire up the opposite way yeah like that I don't know four or five turns whatever you get kind of even and then just trap that in at the top And then I use uh, I use shit scissors for wire because um, it's a surefire way of ruining your nice ones, as I found out over the years. All right, do that. And then lastly, I'm just going to get some um, seals for some black for the um, for the thorax. And um, I know some people dub this stuff on, um, but what I tend to do. It's a little bit more fiddly, but you kind of get a hang of it. Is I just split um, the thread with a dubbing needle, um, just kind of spread it in two, and then open it up, and then you just kind of put that little bit of dubbing in there, and then kind of wind it up, kind of spin it up, and it kind of goes all a bit like a a bit like a bog brush, just kind of goes all kind of strangly, and I think it looks way better once you tie it in like that. And if you've put too much in, like I have here, just kind of pull it out at the top and then just anchor that down in right up to the bead. Now, again, I know for a fly that lasts, you should really get a little bit of fly tying cement and put a dab on there just so it doesn't come undone to be honest with you um, my flies don't last that long I lose them, clients lose them 
before they come undone. So I just kind of do that, break the thread off, and bam, there you go. A little caddis kind of affair. Yeah, looks kind of buggy. Pretty durable. Does the job. And yeah, fish eat them. Right, so that's pretty much my go-to size for kind of, you know, lightly weighted stuff, dry dropper stuff. Um, I'll do them in different sizes, different weights, size 12s with a like a 3.8 mil bead, maybe even like a double 3.8 mil bead, and I'll use that as a dropper to get right down deep in um, deeper, faster water. And I'll even go like a size 16, uh, unweighted. Um, but yeah, just variations of the same fly. It's really good. So I'll take that, I'll do up a few more. I'll take that and take it to the river later this week and see if. And get a fish to eat it.